Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the European Nightcrawlers. And uh, I think I've made a decision. I tried to put some cardboard in here to dry out this bin, and uh, it's just too much. It's just not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a light harvest on these worms and move them to a new bin. So what I'm going to do is proceed with the light harvesting and at some point uh, I'll stop and talk again. But for the most part I'm going to be extracting worms and you're going to be watching this on high speed. I am uh, harvesting both the vertical and the horizontal bin at the same time and uh, I think the final conversation about whose worms are bigger, the vertical or the horizontal, at this point um, I would say horizontal by a very small amount. I'm seeing good sized worms in both bins but uh, I will be resetting the horizontal and vertical uh, worms bins uh, after I get them harvested so that is what I'm doing right now so I'm resetting as an aside I do think that the springtails are better, um, but the moisture is still, um, it's like peanut butter. So the, the bin does have to get reset. I'll leave the, the super wet portion with the baby worms and the, um, the cocoons and I'll let that ride. There should be enough food left in there to uh, allow them to have something to eat. But right now my goal is to get them out of this super wet. So this is what I mean. This was in the horizontal bin. That's a pretty good size worm there.
anybody wants to make a prediction uh, down at the bottom as to how much worms or how many worms we have in here when I finally get these all extracted, put your comments below as to what you think that I'm going to have. Alright guys, uh, so there we are, the two uh, red wiggler bins, and uh, for anybody who's been paying attention, uh, I think some of those are blue worms. I don't know how they got in there, um, but they seem to be rather purpley, uh, considering, um, considering they're supposed to be European night crawlers, who gen generally are pink, not 
purple. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you think I've been infiltrated by blue worms, but this looks to be a couple pounds of worms. So from 500 cocoons two years ago, I got two pounds of worms. And I haven't been, you know, trying to actively grow big, huge worms. I'm willing to bet that in my cocoons uh, and little worms that made it to the... Um, the other pile, I think, you know, I think there's probably another quarter pound of worms in there as well. But uh, I was less trying to separate worms than I was trying to get rid of the um, extracurricular bugs from the worms uh, before I put them in a new bin. So, um, if some people are like, oh God, you know, she's been doing this forever. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's more to get rid of the springtails. Uh, and the mites than it is to separate worm from casting at this point. I just want to start my new bins off as good as possible. Um, so this one's going to require a little bit more work, but I do have a new bin ready. So let me go ahead and move that over. Alrighty, so this, this bin has been uh, sitting here uh, waiting for these worms to get going, God, for probably like two months now. I've, I've had this in progress. Um, started off with normal bedding, did put a little food in there. Um, so let's release the worms. So, I don't know, I anticipate that to be close to two pounds of worms. It is 24 ounces by volume, so whatever that makes it. Um, and they are meant to be 100% European nightcrawlers, although at this moment I do have to wonder if that's true. There are some in here that are pretty dang purpley. Um, you know, this this is what I expect to see when, oop, come on, come on. Like this one here is what I expect to see when I see an European Nightcrawler. I do not expect to see anything quite so pink as what some of these other ones are. All right, well, I'm going to let the, the other little container um, keep squirming down to the bottom until... Um, until there's more worms and, and not hardly any casting so that I can get rid of the, the springtails and the mites and whatever. Wait, I forgot. I am going to feed them. So here we go. Here's a mango and some bread. So that should be more than enough food to get going for this many worms. I'm going to cover up the food because that mango did not smell good. So uh, that is it. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.